Let's now look at how we find the mean of a probability distribution for the Poisson distribution. I've got here an example where the mean is 4 and we can then work out the probability of any particular number of occurrences using the formula that's given in Excel. So the chance of getting naught events is 1.8 percent, the chance of getting one event is 7.3 percent and so on. And if we add these up we should get quite near to 1 but not exactly. Let's just check the adding up. 0.997 that's because in theory the plus one goes on forever. We could get 11, 12, 13 events. But we've got most of them. We've got 99.7 percent of the events here. Now to find the mean of a, bino of a probability distribution we must multiply each value of x, the number of events, by the probability. So the first one will be equals a2 times b2. This will come to zero of course. But if we now click and drag for the rest of them, bottom right corner, left click, hold down and drag, we get that and the numbers don't seem to do much. Let's add them up now. Dragging down the middle, go to home and sigma and what we can see there is 3.967 and of course we know in fact that the Poisson distribution, that the parameter is the mean. So this distribution does have a mean of 4 and so we can see what's happening here is that we we haven't got them all yet and these extra events that we've given up on they would add just a little bit more to the mean and they would push it up towards 4. We never quite get there because you could have a million events in theory with a very small probability but we can see both that the total probability has almost reached 1 and the mean has almost reached 4 as we expect. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.